Hello and welcome to this little plugin I made. It's in the Z plugin and it's called ZBrush for Move Position. This is the version A. I might improve it with maybe a version B for right now. It's the version A. Uh, there will be a link below the video that you can try it. There's going to be a ZSC file that will go on your ZPlug folder. Then there will also be the text file which is a source code. Um, that's optional. Um, if you want to mess with the source code, but that text file does not need to go into the Zplug folder. When I press here, it's going to act like nothing happened. Um, we can press H on the keyboard or this tutorial view window here by clicking this. So we press H on the keyboard, bring that up and down. How this works is based on the slider. Our active tool here is just the body here, and the slider is set to one. So if I press left it's going to move in increments of one when I press left it'll go very very slow um, we can click the button again or just left click somewhere and it'll stop now if I wanted to speed it up I'll just increase the slider and press left again and it'll speed it up as you can see that the history is going a lot here and when I left click to stop um, it removes the history. Uh, I made it that way because it just gets built up too much. So let's move this to the right. And we'll see if we can align this up a little bit better here. Back into the original position. When it gets close, I'll stop it. And notice that it went a little bit too far to the left. Or to the right, I'm sorry. And I need to move it back to the left. Um, these little plus signs will always move it in that direction by one. So if I press this plus button here and click it, it's just going to keep on moving a little bit. So I'm going to keep on clicking it, clicking it, and clicking it until I think it's going to be in position. These are kind of like the fine tweaks. Each one of these buttons got the plus sign next to it. These only move it by one. So it moves by right by one, and then we got you know the front, the back, and up and down. So if we wanted to move it to the right, with the slider set to 5, well, let's crank this up a little higher, to 10. It'll move quite quickly. Then we'll just left click to stop it, and move it back to the left. And left click to stop it. I need to move it to the right a little bit. Let's click that a few times, to find tweak that in there. And we got the front to back. This, these are more. This is self-explanatory front to back. So if I move it, I want to move it to the front. I'll just move it this way. I want to move it to the back. I'll move it this way. If I want to move it up, move it up. And if I want to move it down, I'll move it down. But anyway. That's the end of this. Thank you very much.